What up, fam? It's your boy G Ridge. Yes, sir. I got another easy one for you, fam. Listen, if anybody know how to make sausage sausages, you will try it this way. Stick with your boy. This is Azar sausages, based out of Jacksonville, Duo County. Yes, yeah, sir. The Azar family. This is not a paid promotion, but these are sausages from the old school back in the day. They've been around for years, years and years. They real big. Okay. So as you can see, I had to use the hoagie rolls for that. Yeah, sir, so it can fit those bun, or you can get the long bun leak hot dog. But as you can see, these Hogan rolls right here by Martin's Listen Fam, they already got the little split in it. And even if they don't, you can just take your little knife and uh, um, split it down the middle. Okay, right here, this is Teresa homemade coleslaw. Yes, sir, this is the best in town. And if you don't know, now you know. Now, if you like to make try her recipe for coleslaw, go to her page, Teresa Richardson and type in how to make coleslaw or coleslaw and she'll come up she have several coleslaw trust me she made the best in town Care what nobody say anyway fam now over here that's what this the complete season minced garlic uh, uh salted butter and olive oil that's what i'm going to saute onions and bell peppers in that's going to go on a sausage okay as you can see i'm already done cut up the onions and now i'm cutting the bell peppers up we're going to saute those saute those in uh like I said, in salted butter, a little olive oil, okay? A little minced garlic. We're going to bring it to a boil. I'm going to toss it in there and, and until we get the look that we want to look, you know, the way we want it to look, okay? All right, so, and now with the sausages. When we're doing the sausages, fam, I like to cut a little a little slit all the way down the sausage, not on both sides, just a little, little cut, go halfway into the meat, not all the way where you can cut the sausage in half, okay? And um, I like to uh, put some water in the pan. I like to put them in the pan because well, I just don't understand. Why do people boil hot dogs and sausage? When you do that in water, you know you boil the flavor out of the hot dog and the sausage. I don't like it. It don't taste good. This is the best way to do it to me, in my opinion. Okay. Now we're getting ready to saute the onions and bell peppers. But anyway, you put the sausages in a pan, fam. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put some water in about one fourth or a halfway, halfway through touching the sausage. It'll be at least about halfway, okay? So we're gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna boil, we're gonna we're gonna cook it um, at medium high, okay? With the lid on it, okay? When the water get down low and uh, you know just about to evaporate, we're going to take the lid off and turn it down low and fry them the rest, rest of the way. Trust me, fam. All the flavor gonna be left in the sausages. It's gonna, the integrity of the sausage is gonna be there and everything. You don't boil the flavor out. Stick with your boy, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. As you see, I'm sauteing the onions and bell peppers and the, what kind of season I just put on it, complete season. Like I said, uh, uh, minced garlic and of uh, salted butter so you don't need to put no salt on it because the butter is already salted when i tell you my daughter i made that one for my daughter janae with the onions and bell peppers they she loved it it's going already she ate the whole sausage and because you'll see when it, it towards the end how long those sausages are see right now I'm, I'm putting a little a little cut see all the way up the sausage just on one side not both sides okay and we just gonna line them up in the pan, pour some water in it, and put the lid on it, and kind of steam them. And by the time the water, when the water get real low and starts to evaporate, we're gonna take the lid off, and we're gonna fry them the rest of the way when they start to get brown and a little darker. And we're gonna keep rotating them, rotating them on each side, so you can get the look that you want. Yes, yeah, sir. 
they got them all oh, ain't the thing of beauty now the light color ones sausages those are the spicy ones those are the ones that i like okay y'all yeah, sir okay so while these are boiling and and, and uh, um steaming well i'm gonna show you and then i'm gonna take the regular coleslaw and i'm gonna make some spicy coleslaw that's what i like and all you add is some red pepper flakes and some cayenne pepper okay i'm getting a little bowl you see what i'm doing right now yeah so yeah my mouth watering fam <laughs> you can see on the top because i'm ready to eat all right there's the red pepper flakes i'm gonna dump them in there yes sir put enough in there yeah it looks like a lot in it yeah it can as good as it is <laughs> now i'm gonna put some cayenne pepper and gonna mix it up it's gonna trust me it's gonna be incorporated into the coleslaw what i'm telling you fam it's gonna be just like somebody just like it came out of packet like it was already made just whip it up incorporate it in there real good turn you know just keep until you don't see any more cayenne pepper you know uh, uh being shown just keep mixing it up okay so see how it's coming together mm-hmm look at that uh-huh so that's gonna be my see i can use some of it i can take the rest and i can put it in the refrigerator until i need it again i wouldn't let it stay in there no longer than a week or week and a half look yeah sir look at that that's mine okay we're gonna check back with the onions and bell pepper they don't have that brown look on it yet so i'm just keep sauteing those and towards the end i'm gonna take the lid off there it is take the lid off so they can cook down a little bit i don't want them mushy but i want them done and always look at the coloration fam Mm-hmm. See, we see, see we frying them the rest of the way. The water is real, real low. Look at that. The sausage will not burn. It's a non-stick pan. You'll see what I'm talking about. You're gonna keep flipping them over and over until they done the way you want it to be. Look at that. Ain't they pretty? Yeah. You see how long they are? Okay. And so that's why you're gonna need the extra long bun link sausage or get you some hoagie bread, hoagie rolls that's made like a hot dog bun, like I have. And those are the Martin hoagie rolls that I got. Okay, we're turning the heat down, and we're gonna fry them the rest of the way. This is how you make the perfect sausage or hot dog, okay? I don't know, when I was young, I tell you, my mom and dad, they used to um, boil hot dogs and sausage. I'm like, I see, I see that the water is brown and gray looking, it don't seem like you know I ain't the smartest crayon in the box, but uh, don't that look like um, the seasoning is in the water and not on the hot dog? Oh my goodness, I just don't know, fam. I don't know. I know a lot of people like boiled hot dogs and sausages. I don't. This is the best way to me to make them. the flavor still be left in it and everything. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to show you. I'm gonna make the hot these sausage dogs. One of them gonna be with salt of uh, the onion and bear peppers, and I'm gonna combine that with honey, the French's honey mustard. Then I'm gonna have mine the hot coleslaw with French's yellow mustard, and the other one just gonna have some coleslaw on it. Okay, stick with your boy. It's gonna be a thing of beauty. Now I'm adding the onions and bell peppers on the middle one. That's that's gonna be Janae's. That's what she wanted. Look at that. Mm -mm. When I say as soon as I gave her that fam, it was gone and <laughs> it was gone in two minutes. Everybody was pretty much hungry, but I tell you, fam, ooh we. You see, you can see the integrity of the sausage. It just you can see that how done they are. And, you know, it's just you didn't boil the color or the boil the flavor out of it. That's why I don't boil it. Mm-mm. And my wife sometimes said, Gideon, why is it taking so long? All I asked for three or four sausages because 
you got to steam them things perfect. You got to do it. You got to do it right. You just can't. Well, I don't mind having my board. I say, yeah, you put all that coleslaw and and relish and and mustard and stuff on it. That's all you're tasting is that in the bread. But if you do it this way, so now she finally, when I did it this way, she finally fell in love with the way I make my sausage and hot dog. It holds the flavor in the meat. And look, you got a one hit or quitter, fam. Think about it. You got the meat, the protein. You got the vegetable. And you got the starch with the bread. You got a one hit or quitter. And you'll get full. You all sir, get you a cold glass of lemonade or some Kool-Aid with some ice. Yeah, sir, it's going down, fam. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Yes, sir. Now, these are a thing of beauty. I hope y'all enjoy this. And I hope you follow my footsteps to a T. And trust me, please let me know down there in the uh, comment section how do you love these sausages, okay? Or hot dogs. You can do the hot dogs the same way. Love y'all to life. G Rich out. In your mind. you